Welcome back to the uh, part 4 of this series on ISO 20022. So in part 4 we are going to have a look at the PAC 002 which is known as the, uh, the reject message or probably a better name is the payment status report. know so far here. So we have seen the PAC 08 and PAC 03 message flows. We have seen the MTA-MX equivalence table and in the last uh, series we saw the PAC 004 which is a uh, return message. So let's understand PAC 002. So when a debtor bank actually sends out a PAC 008, it is forwarded to the other side by the clearing system. But as soon as the message reaches the clearing system, it actually gives you a PAC 002 in return. So you can call it as an acknowledgement of the message. And in this PAC 002 contains a status code which tells you whether, whether the clearing system has accepted the message and passed it on, okay, or whether it has rejected the message and did not pass on that to the creditor side. So that is why a PAC 002 is very important because it gives you the status of the message in the clearing system. We talked about different statuses. So these are the statuses. ACCP, for example, it says that it accepted the customer profile, the creditor account settlement is completed, debtor account settlement is completed. Now, some of the more popular ones are pending and received, okay? But the key here is reject. Okay, which means that the clearing system for some reason has rejected the PAC 08 and refused to forward it to the beneficiary bank. Why? Probably uh, due to many reasons. Uh, number one, it could be because of a file format issue or it could be because uh, of some technical difficulties. Uh, it could be because the message was uh, received well after the cutoff window because the ACH has got certain windows in which it can receive or send messages. So, some, in some networks, a PAC 002 is always sent for a reject. They never sent for a success or a pending case. That's why uh, for those networks, uh, PAC 002 is synonymous as a reject message. Whereas other networks, they send it for even for uh, acknowledgement or also for a positive report. So that is why in general, PAC 002 is called as a payment status report. to understand the flow it's very very similar to PAC 004 but here the fundamental difference between 002 and 004 is that while 004 comes from the the other side the counterparty bank 002 animates from the clearing system software so first as usual you actually check and parse the file to see whether it is okay or not then you match it with the original PAC 008 because remember the PAC 002 is sent for a corresponding 008. Now one thing to note is that it's not always one to one. You can receive multiple PAC 002 for the same PAC 008 sent earlier. So you actually um, have these two elements with which you match it against the PAC 008 and if the matching is successful you go ahead for the receipt accounting. This receipt accounting is only if the status code is RJCT. Obviously, we will not do this if the payment uh, status says uh, it's pending or it is received or successful. So if it's a reject, you actually do the reverse of what was done earlier when you sent out the PAC 008, which is debit now to and create the network clearing GL. That's for the bulk amount of the file. Uh, when I say file, it's the PAC 002 file. So this happens in bulk. And then it happens is the debit account and the credit accounting. This happens by transaction. So you debit the network clearing gel and credit the intermediate suspense. And then finally you debit the suspense and credit the customer account. Remember this is the account which was originally debited when the PAC 008 was carried out. So this in a nutshell is a very simple flow uh, to understand the PAC 002 message. So uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, in part 5, we are going to look at uh, some more scenarios of the ISO transmission. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us.